What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Fivesall. I don't know why it took me this long to read this book. Listen, like I have seen this book everywhere. I have known about this book. Have I ever read the description of it? No, I've just known of its existence. I've seen so many authors that I love praising this book and like singing its praises. And for some reason, it just like was always kind of like, well, I guess maybe if I ever get to it. But then one day I was looking around and I finally read the description of it. And listen, the way that this book is completely tailored for me to like it, I felt like such a dumb person for putting off reading it for so 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 long so we hunt the flame is set in a mystical like arabian world and we are following a girl who disguises herself as a boy she is the hunter of her land she goes into this like magical forest and she is tasked by somebody named the silver witch to go to this mystical island to restore all of magic and like woo that's really cool but here's the thing the prince of this land the prince of darkness he is a very skilled assassin and he kills every Everybody for his father. He's got all of these, you know, marks on him that have signified like all of the people he's killed. He is tasked by his father to follow her and to kill this hunter and take whatever it is that she was looking for. And here's the thing. Our Prince of Darkness is a secret, sad, soft boy. So you know that when he meets Zephira, like he's not gonna want to kill her. He's gonna fall in love with her. So what do you think happens? Like, listen, I love this type of premise so much. And I just, I love the Prince of Darkness and the angry girl who fall in love. It's really great. But I, I really like that in this book, it is elevated. I would say that this book feels very new adult to me in that just the way our characters think about things, like the complexities that they deal with in this book, the way that once they get to this island, like everything changes. The setting was so magical. The way they are constantly confronted with their fears, with their past mistakes, the way that they have to just keep moving and keep going forward, all of the characters that they meet. It was so endlessly fascinating and honestly, like I couldn't get enough of it. When I was reading this book, I really never wanted it to end because it was just so, so magical. And I don't think I've read a book that was this like, fantasy, magical, new type of fairy tale in like a really long time. So for that, like, I really loved it. I am giving this book an A+. To me, I feel like We Hunt the Flame, just everything worked so perfect. I loved the pacing. I loved all of the characters. Like, the only thing that I would say is that some of the characters towards the end, I felt like the cast was getting like a little bit big because at the end of the day, like, the characters that would like pull me back down and like back into it were our three main like cast. So every time we'd get like a new person added in, I was kind of like, okay, you don't really mean a whole lot right now. Like, I just kind of want to focus in on you guys. So I just really, really loved this story. I am so excited to get to the next one. Once again, I'm on a 10 week wait at the library because I'm a dumb bitch and I waited too long to read this book. But I endlessly loved I, We Hunt the Flame. I am so late to this party, but if you haven't read it, if you were late as well, I do like really implore you to please go and pick this book up because it is spectacular and I cannot wait to see what this author is gonna do next. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.